It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Chiefs and the Silver and Black, and it's all up next. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to three-peat. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. They'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And he's starting to make his way pretty well here in the NFL. We all know about the speed. Set the combine record for the 40-yard dash at 4 2 one. That sets him apart. But in addition, a good route runner, strong hands, and knows how to fight for the football. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. All right, second down right back to Hunt. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Here now a third down and eight. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we've got an injured player, and that's Travis Kelsey who appears to be in a bit of discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact. But that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. 
Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. That's second down. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got it. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster on a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in Vegas. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got, just wiped it away, didn't they? They've just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. A 10-play drive that time. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive and at the helm in his first year in silver and black, sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And this one is incomplete. Charles, already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here comes third down and seven. Off play action, it's Minshew. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed.
So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And from the 34, here's second and four. They'll run again with Hunt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. They'll send the tight end in motion. Mahomes going to throw. And the catch made by Hopkins. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read figured out where the boots was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Divine Diablo dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Now here's Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. And that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? And that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there. And he ended up coughing it up. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Minshew sets to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Going with White here, toss left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. 19 yards for Zamir White. And the Raiders are an extra point away from evening this one up. I can't help it, partner. I love backs who have a lot of bursts. Yeah, they ran the toss play. By the way, sometimes you'll hear toss and pitch used interchangeably, but that was the toss. Well, for me, a toss, quarterback takes the snap, turns around, tosses it to like the tailback. Like an egg underhand. Yeah, like an egg underhand, really with two hands. And a pitch, usually like you're running an option-type play, and you pitch it out there to the trailing back. Goes end over end like a field yeah, goal. Yeah, where you turn it over, make sure that thumb turns down and the ball flips end over end slowly and delicately to your running back. Extra point by Carlson up and good and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Mahomes now to throw. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll send a receiver in motion left. 
Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Back to throw now on first down. He finds Hopkins complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that nearly intercepted. Well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. On play action, it's Mahomes. Finds his man, it's Kelsey on the crossing route here. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Mahomes to throw once more. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. On second and goal. Mahomes. Pass on the out route caught by Smith Schuster. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Now Mahomes being chased out left. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a six-yard touchdown run, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, that's what you want to see from your quarterback when it's a goal line situation. A guy who's not afraid to tuck the ball, give his body up, and get into the end zone. That ought to inspire his entire team. Butker on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. 
A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Here's Minshew. And the Chiefs are going to get him. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Now, that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack, and that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Able to find Gray here. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's second down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. And they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's into the hands of Worthy. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. All right, second down, right back to Hunt. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. 
Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. So the missed 56 yarder and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Out of the gun is Minshew. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. There's the versatile back, Kareem Hunt, getting set with the rest of this offense for the next drive. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. So following the hold, 
They're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Worthy. Finding space at the 40. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That one into the hands of Hopkins downfield. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 50 yards. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So the drive there took six plays, and it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice and that often runs you into a penalty. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the draw, here's White. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. The Raiders on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and three. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now back to throw. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go. Second down. Down. 
Here's a toss right side with White. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, it wasn't much of a gain, but we're getting near the two-minute warning, so maybe they just want to get to that point, regroup, and decide what they want to do the rest of the half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here now, third and a yard. Minshew sets to throw. And that will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. They'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Two yards still to go. Third down now. And again, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. Second down and four. Now here's Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 22-yard line.
Now it's Mahomes again. He'll get this one underneath to home. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This from 36 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. to So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Off play action, it's Minshew. That's caught by Myers. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. 
But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm confused. is just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. That's into the hands of his tight end, Bowers. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. And you start to think, if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. From the 38 now, here's a second and seven. Now Minshew. He'll get the tight end Bowers involved there. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That's good for 28 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's White. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Zamir White with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Now a second and ten. Hunt will try going up the middle. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And that is incomplete. 
Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Minshew. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. A part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got his man in stride. Complete get this one across the 45 before he's brought down that one good for 13 and a Raider first down a couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10 the slot man in motion right back to throw now on first down that is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try a mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Going right side is White. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. They'll go play action here with Minshew. This is caught by Tucker. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They run the draw play. This is White. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. 88 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid, combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. 
That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. The kick by Carlson is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator that's caught right side by worthy and he goes out right around the 39 a gain of three last play this time they double it and pick up six what i love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game you've got to be able to do it all of course you got to run fast of course you got to catch the ball but route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now that is caught and he will have a chief's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion that's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Mahomes going to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Here is third down and four. Here's Mahomes to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 
63 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. He finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Second down and six now from the 26. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes now to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now Mahomes. He finds Hopkins complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And again, it's Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Butker's kick here is good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same, who can control them best could ultimately win it. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raiders offense and their running back, Zamir White, getting set for their next drive. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Minshew sets to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. There's a good place to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now it's Mahomes again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Hunt. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Yeah. 
So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? The holding penalty, that puts them in an unenviable spot here as they try again on third and goal. Mahomes to throw once more. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. Out of the gun is Minshew. Pass complete right side to Bowers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that will bring up third and one so they just need one yard here to pick up the first down looking to throw it Minshew oh, had his hands on it couldn't bring it in pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going one thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got his target. That's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, 
you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Minshew. Dancing to his left. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It's a sack for a loss of four, and that brings up third down and goal. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. Here's Minshew. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. A breakdown by the O-line at the worst possible time. Fourth and goal, and it leads to a sack. And I can just see it now the, on the sidelines are telling the quarter, you've got to get rid of it somehow, some way. At least get it in the end zone and give us a chance. If we throw an interception, so what? A sack? We didn't even have a chance. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 77 yards on the ground now for Hunt. It'll be a first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been to bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. They run again with Hunt. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now here's Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much unless of course you're playing defense if you're getting points per reception you got a reception but yeah no yardage great job by the defense though they they read through that one they read through it gave up no yardage and people got credit for tackles pretty good deal and he will have a chief's first down as they get five there on third and two He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to be, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. All right, second down, right back to Hunt. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And a short gain down to about the 33. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So this one in the win column for Kansas City, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road. How about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Yeah, Most they time, thumped them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up on the road Big margin, big victory. Oh, yeah, that flight home will be good. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.